Today on MTG Unpacked, we're celebrating the two-year upload anniversary of the channel by opening a pack of Hour of Devastation pre-release pack. Not terribly exciting, you might say, but this is where it all began. So, before we open this up, we're going to take a look at the first video on the channel. I'm going to do a bit of a reaction and see how long I last before I throw it across the room in disgust. So it's been quite a ride these past two years. We're uh, getting close to a thousand videos within the next couple of weeks. Uh, over the weekend we just passed 5,000 subscribers. And I'm looking forward to what comes next. So without further ado, let's set this aside and take a look at where it all began. Okay, so we'll use Nicole Bolas here as a convenient holder. And let's start the playback. Good evening and welcome to the first episode of MTG Unpacked. <laughs> the show where we crack packs of magic cards for your viewing enjoyment. Today oh dear. we'll be opening a box of the new Hour of Devastation pre-release set. Uh, I've got a bunch of these, so stay tuned and let's see if we can crack some invocations or maybe a Nicol Bolas or one of the new God cards. Let's get cracking. Okay, so that is pretty clearly scripted. Um, I don't sound terribly enthusiastic. I think I was very nervous when I was doing this first one. So let's see if that improves. Trying to figure out how to open the box. Alright, what do we got in here? I am Nicola Bolles. Take a quick look at that. The five, what is that? The five hours. Ah, oh, got a. First up, we've got a Razaketh. Razaketh, not bad. I remember that guy. Legendary creature. Alright, and then we've got to take a look at what else we got in the box. Spin down die. Dice, okay. Very exciting as you can see. Some Lay out the packs for the pack blessings. We get two so we get packs Armand of Armand Kit. Kit. All right. and four packs of Hour of Devastation. No pack blessing! What the heck is going on here? What is this channel? Who is this imposter? All right, well, the pack blessings, I think, came along around episode 50 or thereabouts. Of solidarity. So, let's see. Cartouche Going through the knowledge. commons. Nimble blade. Still do that today. Giant spider. Not really getting things Doom in Beal. focus. Those who serve. I don't know what Scribe this weird <laughs> arranging of cards is about. Star. A little awkward. Stinging shot. But uh, yeah, it takes quite a few episodes to get in the rhythm. Uh, for anyone who has started a YouTube channel pack opening, it looks really easy and it actually is, but until you've done it a whole bunch of times, let's see. Do I get anything cool in this first pack? No, I absolutely do not. Injury. This is our first rare. Okay. Nice. Very excited, clearly. The next pack. And how do we open packs again? Oh, there we go. That's figured it out. I noticed the frame rate on here is pretty low as well. This is before I figured out the 60 Safe frames worldly. per second. The silky smooth goodness, 1080p. Scarab Feast. Pouncing Cheetah. Hyena Pack. Impeccable timing. Okay. Lots yep. of river shrine. Horror Recognize all of this hands. stuff. I got started in Armand Ket, so have Rock fond memories Nada. of that set, even if it is a total garbage Rock fire. Brawler. Spring to mind. And a Ronus, the Indomitable. Uh, legendary creature, god. Mythic! Okay. Come on, where's the enthusiasm? Through the Arab okay, so that was Armand Ket, Arab Dev. We have a Avon Reed Stalker. Okay, good. Paramount Frontline 
Devastator, Moaning Wall, Ambuscade, and at this point, Screecher, I changed the playback speed to double. <laughs> forgotten forest, Fight Kenra, Scrander of Souls. And you probably do this on my videos anyway, and Crazy that pool. can help you get to the crazy pools faster. We've got a cat, okay. Crack those packs faster, man. Come on, there we are. We're approaching Rudy levels of speed now at uh, double speed. Wretched camel, look at that guy. Yeah, still Wretched notice Bobbles. the camels, wretched camel. This is long before the crazy voices came along. Next pack. We have a spell weaver eternal. And one other observation, I'm still using the same camcorder and lighting setup I used to film this original episode, so none of that has changed at all in the last two years. Some might say it should have, but I think it's decent enough quality for cracking packs. Last pack, yes, finally, and then we can get on to this bit of juicy goodness. Frontline Devastator, Unquenchable Thirst, Harriet Naga, Lurching Rot Beast, Lurching Rot Beast, okay. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Avalanche! Of the true. Yeah, just, the just fling the cards everywhere. Ah, Man, where, so where are the neat piles? Come, come on, what, ruins. what are you doing? And Hour of Glory. Hour of Glory, I can't even so get it in focus. All right. And that is our first box. So from humble beginnings. Emerged a so somewhat mediocre um, pack opening channel. All right. So I tallied up the value of all the. Okay, uh, so this is before I popped the values in the corner. Thirty-five dollars. Thirty-five dollars. Okay. Mythic here. What did I? I think I probably bucks. paid about thirty so bucks for this. So there we have it. I hope you enjoyed this unpacking, and be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe if you'd like to see me crack more packs of magic. Have a fantastic day. Alright, so let's get cracking here. What did you think of that? Did you watch that episode at all? I know some people were curious. I think the last I checked the video had about 500 views. It most definitely did not get that many. I think I got maybe uh, no more than half a dozen. I think a, a really good view rate for my videos back then, I'd get maybe 10 views. So. Let's see if we can do a little better today, people, and hit that thumbs up like crazy. Okay, so I'm going to hide the promo. We'll look at that at the end. And spin down. What do we get? Ten. <laughs> what are the chances? All right, that was a ten. Green screen confirmed. Okay, so we will... Lay out the packs here and get this bloke to do his business. Hopefully he has not cursed us. All right, so I'm going to do this in exactly the same order and hope for a different result this time. Let's get cracking with Armin Kett. And if I pull an invocation, I'm just going to totally lose it. I, I don't think that's possible. The odds are definitely not in my favor, but let's go. We have Forsake the Worldly, compelling argument. Thresher Lizard, Rat Crop Spearmaster, Greater Sandworm, Miasmic Mummy. I've always liked the artwork on that one. Naga Vitalist, Trespasser's Curse, Compulsory Rest, Winds of Rebuke, and Uncommons, Embarber's Tools. Delightful. Crock at a crossing, he'll bite you into many small pieces. Seraph of the Sun, Zendere is Hazaret's favor. So this is an enchantment for three at the beginning of combat on your turn. You may have target creature you control, get plus two plus zero and gain haste until end of turn. If you do, suck it at the beginning of the next end step. All right, and a forest and a warrior token. And I definitely do not think I'm gonna pull as much value as I did back then because the set had just come out. Now it's two years old and yeah, probably not much value left. Okay, although we could get an Abraid, oh that's in Arab of Devastation, so we'll see. Nimble Blade, Kenra, Fanbearer, Cancel, 
Thresher Lizard, Soul Stinger, Pouncing Cheetah, Trespasser's Curse, Final Reward, Evolving Wilds, Cartouche of Strength, and Uncommons we have Battlefield Scavenger, Open into Wonder, Spring to Mine, Split card there, and the rare is Oracle's Vault, so this is an artif artifact, yeah, artifact for four, pay two and tap, exile the top card of your library until end of turn, you may play that card, put a brick counter on Oracle's Vault. You can tap, exile the top card of your library until end of turn. You may play that card without paying its mana cost. At this ability only if there are three or more brick counters on Oracle's Vault. Okay, Mountain and a Drake token. And instantly, if you want to check out that original video, you're too lazy to go back, sort by oldest video. I'll pop a link up in the corner. You can check it out and cringe along with the rest of us. Alright, and I'm still, yeah, nothing's changed, still have trouble opening the packs, holy moly, what is going on? Alright, next we have Proven Combatant, Mummy Paramount, Frontline Devastator, Ambuscade, Carrion Screecher, also known as the slightly overcooked, you know what? Leave a note in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. If you're familiar with that, Jeru's Renunciation, Thorned Moloch, Unsummon, Gift of Strength, Manalith, and Uncommons we have Fervent Paincaster, Angel of the God Pharaoh, Shefet Junes, and the rare is Imminent Doom! Enchantment for three. It enters battlefield with a Doom counter on it. Whenever you cast a spell with converted mana cost equal to the number of Doom counters on Imminent Doom. It deals that much damage to target creature or player, then put a Doom counter on Imminent Doom. Did anyone try that out in the standard at the time? Leave a note in the comments. Swamp and one of these little token cards. Halfway through. Let's see how we do in the second half. Probably not much better than the first half. Countervailing Winds. Sandblast. Kindled Fury. Frilled Sandweller, Lethal Sting, Desert of the Glorified, Scrandra of Souls, Defiant Kenra, Juru's Renunciation, Unsummon, and Uncommon's Quarry Beetle, Ipnu Rivulet, it's a mouthful, Tenacious Hunter, Croc, yes, here he is, he'll bite some part of your body off, watch out, and the rare is Abandoned Sarcophagus. Artifact 3, you may cast non-line cards with cycling from your graveyard. If a card with cycling will be put into a graveyard from anywhere and it wasn't cycled, exhale it instead. Nice flat mountain there. And a zombie token. Okay. Two packs to crack. Still no sign of the invocations. And I've opened so much of this. I think I've got one of those... Um, uh, three or four divider huge boxes. There's probably a couple of thousand cards in there. Ridiculous. Aven of Enduring Hope, Countervailing Winds, Solitary Camel, Carrion Screecher. There he is again, Sidewinder Naga, Marauding Bone Slasher, Desert of the Fervent, Seer of the Last Tomorrow, Graven Abomination, Steadfast Sentinel, and Uncommon's Manticore Eternal, If Near Deadlands, Liliana's Defeat, and Rare is Imminent Doom again. We've already seen you, we don't need to see you again. I think our value is imminently doomed. And a Plains and a Warrior Token. Okay, last pack. I think it's fun to see how they set up all the stuff in War of the Spark, even back here. So you have all the uh, Armanket gods coming back. That's pretty cool. Alright, next we have Dauntless Avon, Blur of Blades, Avon Reed Stalker, Oasis Ritualist, Marauding Bone Slasher again, Bitterbow Sharpshooters, Traveler's Amulet, Granitic Titan, Desert of the Indomitable, Seer of the Last Tomorrow, Uncommon's Gideon's Defeat, Shepherd Dunes, Torment of Scarabs, and the rare is Hour of Promise. Sorcery for five, search your library, four up to two land cards, put them onto the battlefield, tap, then shuffle your library. Then if you control three or more deserts, create two, two, two black zombie creature tokens. Alrighty, and an island and a horse token. Okay, let's take a look here at the foil. I'd like to get the full 
foil juicy goodness so we'll crack it out of the pack here I know some people cringe about this but let's go what do we get wildfire eternal okay nice foil promo rare creature zombie jackal carrot one four for four bit of a Pringles curve to that card after all these years has a flicked four so whenever this creature becomes blocked defending player loses four life and whenever Wildfire Eternal attacks and isn't blocked, you may cast an instant or sorcery card from your hand without paying its mana cost. Look at that foiling. All right, so that is it. We're wrapping it up here. Let me know in the comments the before and after. Do you think I've improved at all in the last couple of years or actually gone downhill? I think it's probably the latter. And I hope this video gives you a little encouragement if you're wanting to start a pack cracking channel or any magic channel, any YouTube channel in general really. There is hope for you if you stick to it, uh, keep working at it, try to improve little things every day. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And I'd like to thank all the viewers over the last couple of years for all the notes of encouragement and keeping this channel going. And a special thank you to the patrons. I actually started the Patreon last year and you guys have been instrumental in keeping everything going. So thank you very much. Thanks for watching and have a great day.